at the uh, across from the health department in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're here because the Mad as Hell doctors came all the way from Portland. They're headed for Washington, and they're helping us understand why we need to be as mad as hell. I have been getting madder and madder, primarily because it just doesn't make sense to me that this single-payer health care isn't getting any public attention because it's the only thing that will work. And we, we keep hearing about the cost of health reform, and somehow or other we don't be, seem to be able to get across the message that these mad as hell doctors got across. It won't cost us anything. We're wasting all that money and we're sending it to pay for stuff that we don't need, for the overhead and profits of insurance companies. And somehow or other, we don't seem to be able to get that message to Congress or the American people, and we've got to get that across. I'm Paul Simmons, a professor of ethics, and I teach ethics and professionalism at the University of Louisville School of Medicine. I'm here because of my admiration for physicians who will take a stand with regard to uh, to national health care coverage. And I think that this is a splendid demonstration of the sort of motivations behind most physicians being in medicine to begin with. Uh, they're there because of their compassion for people and that has led them to great lengths to, um, to prepare so that they can be people of competence and compassion and the sort of wisdom that it takes to bring healing to people of broken bodies or minds. Yes, physicians are caught in a very awkward position of this, uh, this terrible crunch of financial realities against the best motives that, that can possibly motivate people to try to serve people. There's nothing more important to human beings than health. Wellness is at the heart of our sense of well-being, of our self-esteem, and of our abilities to accomplish uh, goals and dreams in life. Our moral project as people depends upon our capacity, our abilities to pursue that with the energy that's rooted in our uh, physiology. So physicians assist that in extremely important ways. And uh, they're confronted then with the reality that uh, there are other people trying to take that away from them. I heard a physician in Kroger's one night. He said, the hospitals and insurance companies are killing us. They're taking away our right to make a living and our ability to serve people. And he was, uh, he, he was really upset with the fact that they're caught in, the, in these pinchers of financial necessity versus their ability to serve people.